my primary goal for you guys is to give you the strongest possible foundation in the core of the Lightroom program. To me, that's library and develop. That's where you manage and organize and add information to your photos, and then, of course, develop where you fix and enhance your photos. I throw in map as part of the core because that's where you can add one additional piece of information, which is location. So that's the focus of the workshop. Now, even focusing on just this part of Lightroom and not the output modules, I still can't cover every way of doing things and every button and possible feature. It's just such a, you know, a power-packed program that I'm, I'm focusing on the, on the fundamentals or the core. Now, as Kenna mentioned, this is just as applicable or almost as applicable to Lightroom 3 users as to Lightroom 4 users, and even Lightroom 2 users as well. So Lightroom 4 adds a lot of additional features, but most of the fundamentals are exactly the same in both programs. And where they're not, I'll be pointing out how the Lightroom 3 version is different. Well, on the third day, I also am going to cover what else is new in Lightroom 4 that's not part of the core curriculum. So I'll give you exposure to the book module, to video editing, some of the additional features as well. So today is going to be the heavy lifting day on the library module. Tomorrow is going to be diving mostly into the develop module. And then the third day will be some additional develop and then um, exporting, sharing, uploading copies of your photos and then getting into what's new with Lightroom 4. So before I get started, let me go ahead and show you where you would find me out on the web because I'm hoping to hear from you guys after the workshop. So here's where to find me. So you can email me at laura at laurashoe.com and you can find my website at www.laurashoe.com. I'm going to show you my website in a, in a minute. Facebook, if you search for Laura Shoe Digital Workshops, or you type that all in with no spaces, you get to my Facebook page. And then Twitter, at Lightroom underscore Laura. Now, I know that there are a lot of people out there because Kenna and, and Natalia have already said that, but I'd love to have evidence myself, direct evidence. And the way that I know that you guys are out there on the web is if you go to twitter.com right now or facebook.com and you search for Lightroom Laura on Twitter or uh, Laura Shoe Digital Workshops and you follow me or you like my page. Because during a break, I'm going to turn on my phone and I'm going to see if there's really anybody out there. <laughs> so I, I really want to, I want to just see those emails of follows and likes just pouring in. So that way I can keep in touch with you with you know, upcoming webinars, with new blog posts, et cetera, as well as other resources that I find useful. OK, and I always neglect to mention Google+, because I'm still getting into that myself. But search for Laura Shu on Google+, as well. Okay. Let me just go ahead and briefly show you my website, because I want you to know what kind of resources I have out there. So where? here we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm on laurashoe.com, and it's, it's a blog format. So I try to post once or twice a week, it depends on what's going on. But of course, it's a traditional blog where as you scroll down, you'll get into sequential posts. I mostly post about Lightroom, but I occasionally post about Photoshop as well. Just like most of my work is in Lightroom, but some of it is in Photoshop as well. So recent ones have been on the Photoshop CS6 beta. But I post Lightroom tutorials, I post Lightroom videos, et cetera. Now, if you don't want to go sequentially through my posts, there's a search box right here. So I'm going to be saying in this workshop, that's more involved that I can cover. But there's a post on my website. Search for it. Search in this box here. And then as I scroll down here on the right-hand side, you'll see some links to some videos. Um, but then I get down into some featured posts. And then the most important thing, categories. So if you're ready to learn more about the develop module, for example, you can just click on the develop module category to get to some posts specifically on those topics. Up on the top here, last thing I'll point out, just the tabs. So I've got some additional resources for you here and additional information about my offerings. So I've got some Lightroom DVD training resources here. I offer webinars, 90-minute webinars. Many of them are free. So check those out. Uh, Seattle workshops that I'm running either on my own or through Photographic Center Northwest. And then I also offer worldwide private instruction. 
So this is done with GoToMeeting on the web um, and using the phone or Skype or GoToMeeting audio. And I've actually done troubleshooting or instruction in various parts of Lightroom with people around the world, which is just cool. I mean, tech, I just love technology. Um, more about me and some photos here as well. And here's the contact button. So that's my website. I hope you'll, you'll check it out. Let's go ahead and go back to um, Keynote here. I'm a PC user, so I'm using a Mac today, and I'm you know, going to be a little shaky on it for a while. But in Lightroom, there's really not much difference at all. OK, so that's enough about me. Let's actually start talking about why you, you, know, why you guys are really here, which is to talk about Lightroom. So a little bit more on the agenda so you know where we're going. I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Lightroom. You know, why, why Lightroom? Why is it so great? Um, how does it work with a catalog? You know, it works very differently, and that can really mess up a lot of users. Then I'm going to go into suggestions on how to organize your photos on your hard drive. And, I, and I'm going to talk about how to back everything up. There, that it's a, that's kind of a complicated topic that people don't understand, and it leads to a lot of sob stories. So I want to make sure you guys understand what needs to be backed up and how. Then I'll get into the library module. So managing your photos with a library module. How to import photos from your hard drive, from memory cards. We'll go through preferences. Always a dry topic I hate to take people through, but an important one to get you set up right. Then we'll go into how to manage and reorganize your files and folders using the folders drive. If you're like me, when I was fairly new to Lightroom, my folders were a complete mess. So I had a lot of reorganizing to do, and you want to do that from within Lightroom, so we'll learn how to do that. Next, we'll go into how to evaluate and rate a photo shoot, how to sort through, figure out which ones are pics, which are rejects, how to zoom in, look at photos side by side, um, et cetera. Next, we'll go into assigning keywords and other information to your photos. And then once you have all that great information assigned, how do you search for your photos? How do you find them? And then how do you group them into what are called collections? So that's the plan for the day. I think that's the end of the plan. OK, yeah, that's the end of the plan. That's already a ton. Now, again, this is the heavy lifting day, right? I mean, the sexy part of Lightroom is the develop module. And that's tomorrow. So I think of this as kind of a roller coaster ride. So today we're on the slow, you know, hard upward climb. We know it's worth it, right? But then tomorrow we get to take that adrenaline rush, exhilarating dive into the develop module. And then the third day, we'll just be, be having that soft landing of, you know, um, of additional topics. And my goal is that you get off the ride wanting more, right? That you're, you're all worked up and excited about Lightroom and, and want to just dive into it. So um, let's go ahead and get started then. So the first question is, why consider Lightroom? And I'm going to keep this very brief. Most of you have already made a choice for Lightroom. Um, but for those of you that are just curious about Lightroom and haven't started using it yet, the first reason to consider Lightroom is that it's customized for photographers. I tend to compare things to Photoshop. Photoshop has to meet the needs of so many different groups, right? Graphic designers, illustrators, web designers, etc. Adobe decided to start from scratch, build something that understands a photographer's workflow and that meets our needs exclusively. We don't have to sort through a lot of tools and old ways of doing things um, that, that, that are in Photoshop. So it's an all-in-one program designed to meet most of our needs. So that we have various modules for accomplishing things that we need to achieve. So I, meant it, I mentioned library and develop for organizing, fixing, and, and enhancing. Then we can move into various modes of output. So all-in-one program, again, compared to Photoshop where you you have Adobe Bridge, then you have Camera Raw, and then you have Photoshop, and then you still need a slideshow program. So again, an all-in-one program. Now, it's meant for serious amateurs and pros. Now, don't get intimidated by the serious amateur you know, quote. Serious to me just means that either, either you have a lot of photos to, um, to manage and or that you want to take the time to get the most out of your photos. So a simple crop and bump in saturation is not enough for you. You want to do more with your photos. You care more about what they look like, and, and photography is important to you. There's a steeper learning curve than some of the really cheaper free programs. It's a, it's a fairly complicated program, but it's worth it. It's so powerful um, that, that it's worth that, and that's why you guys really are here. 
It's easier to master than Photoshop. It's more intuitive, but it's still not easy and completely intuitive. Or again, we wouldn't be having this three-day workshop. OK, the second reason to consider Lightroom is because it has very powerful and forgiving tools for fixing and enhancing your images. I'm not going to walk through the develop module now and convince you that there's a lot of powerful tools here. We'll do that tomorrow. But the point is that there's a professional level set of tools here. So you can do a ton with your photos, um, and, and it will give you the utmost in quality. Now, they're very forgiving. And that's where we can just kind of relax and enjoy Lightroom. No matter what I do to my photo in the develop module, so I could turn it purple, I could um, accidentally crop it down to one pixel, walk away for five weeks and come back and, and look at it and go, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that to my photo. And it's OK. You can always undo your work in Lightroom. Lightroom works non-destructively. It never touches your original photo. And I'll get more into how that happens later. But if you're a new user and you're a little bit intimidated by it, don't worry. There's nothing you can do to ruin your photo. Now, I'm kind of lying to you. There's still one thing you can do to, to ruin your photo, OK? <laughs> well, what is that? Delete. You can still delete your photo, right? But, but Lightroom will warn you before you do that. So it will say, I told you so. And, you know, and hopefully, it'll still be in your trash. But otherwise, you can, you can relax on that. The next thing about why Lightroom is that you can do more faster. It does very fast searches. I can say to Lightroom, find my winter tree photos. It'll find those before I can snap my fingers. Now, if you've used Bridge, you know that you could basically go out to dinner, and hopefully by the time you get back. It's because they work very differently. I don't mean to, to smash Bridge. It's powerful, too. But I'll explain to you what the difference is and why things are so fast in Lightroom. You can also work on multiple photos at once. It saves you a lot of time. You can save settings, save particular looks that you like as presets, apply them later, it saves you more time. So it's a very efficient program, which of course just makes it more enjoyable as well. Now the last point in terms of why Lightroom, I don't mean this to be a, a sales pitch, but the, the price is great. I mean, Lightroom 4, they just cut the price in half. So the full version is $150 instead of $300. The upgrade's $80 instead of um, $199. So it's much more accessible now than it used to be. Okay. All right. So I want to get into. Oh, Sorry, yeah. No. A, great. A quick question on that topic uh, from Net Ingenuity is: What about iPhoto versus Lightroom? Why would you just select if you would Lightroom over iPhoto? Now I have to say that I'm not a Mac user, so I don't have deep experience with iPhoto. But Lightroom is going to give you much more powerful organizing and developing tools, as well as more features for sharing your photos. So iPhoto is a great program to start out with. But when you're ready to graduate to the next level, that's, that's the Lightroom level. It's kind of going from amateur to serious amateur. Yep, thank you.